This video is going to be an introduction to my newest course on my website, which is going to be an RX Java and RX Android for Beginners course, where basically I take you through kind of the ins and the outs of RX Java and RX Android in, in particular, and how to get started with it from right from the ground up, you know, from getting the dependency to using the operators to when you should use it, when you shouldn't use it. And um, probably the most valuable part of this ex of this course, uh, other than using the operators, which are really powerful, is when to use it and when not to use it. Because uh, RxJava is really great for a lot of things, but in some cases, it's not the best thing to use. Uh, you know, in some cases, live data is better. In some cases, it's not. Uh, in some cases, converting RxJava observables to live data is better. So there's there's lots of things to know, lots of things to take apart. Definitely worth knowing about. Uh, so that's those are kind of my goals in uh, in this course. And it's going to be completely free. It's going to be available on my website. You can just go to coningwithmitch.com/courses, RxJava, Rx Android for beginners, or you can go to the courses section. And uh, as of right now, it'll be kind of the first course in the list. Although depending on when you're watching this video, it could be uh, at you know some other. Uh, some other entry in the list because I make new courses all the time. Um, yeah, so pretty much in this course, I'm going to be writing a series of articles, sort of like blog posts, but more detailed. Uh, as you can see, I, it's not complete yet, but I got some of them kind of over here. I'll just click on one just to kind of give you an example. So it's basically going to be an article that I write, and then I'm going to make a video on that article. So I'm going to take you through the example that I go through in that article. So um, whether you want to watch video or whether you want to read, it's up to you. Uh, whatever way you learn best. So, uh, so yeah, hopefully I can shed some light on Rx Java and how you can get started with it, how you can incorporate it in your projects. And I will see you in that next video.